Right, you guys got another ransomware removal video here for you. This one's a police, French police one, as you can see. Pretty much these ransomwares are really rife at the moment on the internet. They're all over the place. You're getting them through emails, all sorts of stuff, and people are getting infected by them. And once you get infected, it stops you from using your computer. Now, this is on a Windows XP machine. Basically blocks you out. You can't do anything. Asking you for money and ransom. Don't pay for it. They are fake. And... Uh, it blocks you out of safe mode and safe mode with networking and uh, you've seen me make a few of these videos now. I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the sample and uh, what we're going to do is show you a quick way of removing it. So let's reboot the system in safe mode and show you what happens. Okay, so I've been tapping F8 on the keyboard. The normal course of action is to enter safe mode with networking and when you do that what happens is you'll get a blue screen okay so we can't do that method you can't use safe mode with networking or safe mode or safe mode with command prompt it blocks you out now you can use windows live cds and stuff like that you see me do that before it's pretty easy this one you can also come down to the directory services restore mode and uh, that should allow you to get into safe mode with networking we'll push on that now and push this and let this uh, load up okay I'm gonna just say yes to this and as you can see it allows us to get to the desktop um, now this doesn't really um, put files all over the place this is the actual main culprit here wherever you've clicked on it whether it'll be in your emails or something like that that's what's gonna happen okay what you wanna do here is come down to your registry I'm gonna type reg edit here and uh, open up the registry I'm gonna to go to HK current user open it up and you want to come down to software then Microsoft then you want to come down to Windows then current version and once you're down here you want to check the actual run box here and you should see um, an actual shortcut to that file and that's all it is really and you can see it there that's the mate that is the one for this ransomware so we need to remove that from the system these ones are from previous uh, from previous uh, infections which I've uh, done so I'm just going to remove those and that's pretty much it, it this one's uh, going to be removed as well these keys this is not from this um, ransom but this is the common thing what happens you normally get um, keys hidden in there so pretty much uh, that should be that done and dusted so let's reboot the system Okay, let's load that up. Okay, so that's our system all nicely cleaned off. What I advise you to do here is uh, run some other scans with malware bytes just to make sure there's no other remnants or any anything else left on the system. Uh, if you've only got that one ransom, then it should be gone because it's only a minor ransom, and uh, you can just pretty much remove this by just doing a quick scan. And as I said, you know, run other programs like Hitman Pro. Just make sure you're fully cleaned. And uh, once you've done that, run C clean to clean off any uh, temp files. And then you can uh, empty out your restore points and create a new restore point for your system. And you should be pretty much good to go from there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from Brytech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and also show your support by rating and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.